I wanted to know why you chased me out. Barbara said she wanted to go. There was no way. Two versions of the story, they do not match. Azipo, how are you coping? We have dismantled something that was so beautiful. I have no plan. The Mommy Cops is into reunion. Is it good? Is it worth it? I think it's just an average for me. Yeah, but to an extent, it did really explore almost everything that it played out on the season. But one thing that I find not very interesting is the way that I think the second part, it, it's a three-part reunion, the second part dwell too much about drama and things that did happen on the second season, on the first season of the reality TV show. I'm like, why? Why do we continue? Why do they have to reference season one, season one, season one? It's as if season one never had a reunion. Like, you guys should have do better. You guys can do better. Let us let go drama from season one. In as much as the reunion was done. So let us let it go. Let it go. So that is how I felt. That is how I felt for like the second part. But in general, it's not bad and it's not like exceptional. It's not like probably one of the best reality TV show reunion I have seen so far. But it's not a bad one. So let me start this conversation with Ratile first. Ratile seemed to be one character or one cast of the show that i never saw coming in the sense that coming to see reunion and the way she was so apologetic she was so calm like ratile i said ratile i don't know why i keep mistaking not ratile i mean miss sandy miss sandy seemed to be overly dramatic on the season in as much as i don't really um kind of connect with her at a very certain level like very well i don't really enjoy most of her parts or what she brought to the show but i never saw i never saw her coming to be this overly apologetic i feel like she really flopped this reunion badly because i one is that when there are some things miss mobs did came and was like trying to address and came for her for them and i feel like she could have even she could have defended herself but she was just so overly apologetic like no I think for a reality TV star, for you to be a reality TV star, you should be able to kind of like own up to some certain things before you can probably just, like you don't just give apologies like that. And even if you give apologies, you don't actually still say things that are, that will be at your own detriment. What is that that she was calling herself to say that? I don't know what came over me. I don't know what possessed me. I was like, mm, see, who, who come back, who come to a reunion and say things like this? No, you come here to, like you kind of wear your crown. Like seriously, but I think I would like not be too hard on Miss Sande for all of this because okay, she's new to the game. Let us just like just give her that benefit of doubt. Probably if she max do renew her contract for season two, maybe she will do better. But this reunion like I think for the show, she probably did her best to an extent. Well, for this reunion, I don't really like the fact that she was overly apologetic. There were some things that she was not supposed to apologize to Miss Mops about, and she was just supposed to defend herself. Stay like, but well, she was just she just kept apologizing. Away from the apology, did not even get me it was too mad. But the fact that she was not like coming to even say things that are not so good about her, saying she was possessed, like I'm like no, now you don't say things like this on a reunion. But I I I think it's very easy for us to say on here because we are not there. But it is what it is. Yeah. So moving on to the next is Miss Mops. Miss Mops seems to shine, or she shined on this um season reunion, like the very first two um episode, because I think she was able to kind of come for the ladies and address a lot of things around her. But I felt like a lot of things that Miss Mops accused the ladies about and that got her screaming and shouting were not that. It was not as if they really did add that bad. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm not. I'm not really. I don't know if probably I am being biased, but that is how I felt. Like, the way she came for Sunday, there were some things she accused Sunday. You know, the conversation about Sunday going to gossip with the other ladies, I feel like that is not like, that is not news. Sunday going to discuss, like, okay, Miss Mobs told me this and this. I don't really see that as gossip. And even if it was gossip, that thing, that conversation did not warrant her shouting and screaming and having to, like, no Miss Mobs. Because I feel like Sunday could have just defended herself. And like, oh, you had this conversation with me. But I went to have this conversation with these people because these are my friends. I like Ratile brought her to the show. So if she is catching up with Ratile about things she had discussed with other ladies, I don't think that should be an issue. And their conversation does not even seem malicious. Like maybe she went there to go and shame Miss Mobs. You know, 
it was just her reporting something to her friends and i feel like like why is miss mob so angry about it you already have this conversation with this lady and this conversation about your house it's no longer news it's not as if it's something that is eating from every other person so like no so what is it why why but miss mobs did give us a show to an extent like she brought in the drama she brought in you know all of those things everyone loved to see on reunion of a reality tv show she was yeah like she was very prepared to fight <laughs> so moving on to the next is ratili i think i will applaud ratili to have been that person that this season reunion or it just make it it just makes sense that ratili seemed to be like that person that have a lot of controversy going on in our life and for this season i think we can just hand over the crown for if you have to bring out that first seat situation thing from what the name from real house they gave her the first seat because she brought the most content like a lot of content was surrounded around ratili i feel like for like the first season it was more of her majesty you know her majesty is very controversial but for this season it's around ratili so let's discuss a lot of things that centered around ratili that did be and uh, that seemed to be an issue the bra bra and ratili issue is one thing that i find myself like okay i think to an extent while i was watching i just want to believe some things ratili was saying i wanted to believe oh but i did not really think i did believe yeah Brabba too seemed to be someone that have a lot of issue because if someone had actually done all of that to you dismissed you and all of that then she did call you to come and work for her then you went back why why probably maybe she was not able to get herself a job maybe and you know she about to an extent i kind of find myself thinking that ratili still have some love for Brabra because of how much her children still do love her because I think every other person could just move on and go and find any other person that they think could actually come and shoot with them as their nanny and probably give audience a show. Yeah, to an extent, I was like, yeah, she could do that. But I think she still has some love for Brabra. But one thing that just makes me want to, I like, believe that probably Brabra has more of the truth more than Ratsili in this situation is the fact that Brabra lied to us. At the reunion of season one that i said brabra ratili lied to us at the reunion of season one that brabra has gotten another job she's now working she's got the cutting job which is lie so i think that's just tell it all that okay there are a lot of things ratili is hiding but i feel like probably the dismissal like to me it's not more of ratili kind of thing like just check it out because ratili still have some kind of soft spots for Bra bra and probably like we love to have her and all of that but um, it is what it is like that's how i feel but i think ratley has like did eat a lot of information so that is how i project it that is how it does come across to me on this show that is how it does come across to me i'm not saying that is what it is this is my perception because nowadays people are perhaps to take people to court <laughs> and i just went i've never gotten enough for myself oh, well going to court <laughs> for defamation of character or, or anything so that is how i think it seemed to be because they seemed like ratili had actually liked to us the very first time about bra bra but i really love how smart ratili is in the sense and i think i tweeted earlier that ratili seemed to be that person that is she's a good politician because she is that person that regardless of the conversation how messy it is and all of that she keep at as tease and composure i don't know if that makes sense to you that's really just always keep that straight face and regardless of how the situation is regardless of the conversation regardless of how triggering it is you practically really get out of character i don't know if you guys have noticed that about her and that's a very like, a very commendable one for her like for someone to just like okay regardless of how messy things to be so to an extent you get to find it hard to get her i don't know if that makes sense to you or you find it hard to understand our plots our moves and all of that you know, like you guys do understand me then the um nunurai i think nunurai is just seems to like she's very cool this season there's not so much drama around nunurai and i understand that because there was a tweet that um the host did read where oh where she was like ratili um i said ratili nunurai and miss mops did not really give us so much this season and for me too i also felt like that with miss mops I felt like Miss Mobs was very careful with her comments, very careful with because Miss Mobs that we knew or that we saw season one was messy 
and a first tier and all of that. But I will not really blame Miss Mob for coming to place to play safe this season. I won't blame her because one thing is that we are complaining about how she was a um, a first tier, how she was all of that kind of person season one, and now she's not being that person. Then we say like, oh, we want that person. So I won't blame her for being this like a very uh, for playing safe. Let me say it that way for playing safe this season. And yeah, I won't blame her to, for playing safe. Then Her Majesty. <laughs> Her Majesty is one person that I feel like she did have great stories to tell this season and she was able to bring a lot of content, you know. And there are a lot of controversy around Her Majesty and sometimes I'm just like, I'm ashamed for this one. <laughs> um, You know, because when they brought up that conversation about the um herself and a her child having um, gone to a club and all of, those, all of those clips we saw, like, hmm, I want to discuss one thing about the host, too, is, like, there are sometimes that she kept dragging some conversation. She kept asking some questions that seemed not very necessary. And she kept asking. So, an instance is, you know, I think the conversation started with Sunday. So, Ratsu was discussing Sunday that Sunday probably was in that situation where she felt like she needs to bring drama to the show. And the lady kept pushing that conversation, making it seem as if, Ratile is not making sense, or Ratile is saying trash, or it's not someone is not supposed to bring drama to a reality TV show. In as much as a reality TV show where people need to see the original, you they need to see you for who you are for yourself. That does not actually take out the need to also bring to give a, to give the viewers of the show a show to give them something to see, to give them something that will make them entertain. I just feel like this woman should have like let's go this conversation and move on from that so away from that i think i find myself not really having like not having so much to say about um what's that name um nozipo because her story seems to be very sad to me and and i feel like there's a lot of struggle a lot of person a lot of women out there struggle with and you know that situation where they never thought things would just go south with their marriage and all of that but i hope she'll be all right yeah so this is all I am discussing for the season 2 reunion of The Mummy Club.